Hey everyone, today's it is about you get harassed in front of him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You and Bakugo have been together for quite some time now. Your love for each other growing stronger with every passing day. Your relationship was built on a foundation of love and trust, support, and unwavering devotion. As lovers, you both knew each other's strength and weaknesses, and you always had each other's backs. It was a sunny afternoon, and you decided to take a stroll through the bustling streets of the city. You walked hand in hand, occasionally stealing glances at each other and sharing soft smiles. The world seemed to fade away when you were together, creating a blissful bubble that only the two of you inhabited. As you walked, engrossed in each other's company, you failed to notice the figure trailing behind you. It was a man, seemingly intent on causing trouble. He approached you with a sneer on his face, his words dripping with malice. Hey, sweetheart, why don't you touch the loser and come with me? I promise I'll show you a good time. He taunted. His voice leads with arrogance. You frowned, feeling uneasy at his unwelcome advances. You instantly tightened your grip on Bakugo's hand, silently seeking solace and protection. Bakugo, always alert and ready to defend those he cared about, immediately picked up on your discomfort. And he turned to face the man, his expression a dangerous mix of anger and concern. What the hell did you just say, you piece of shit? Bakugo growled, his voice low and threatening. The man seemed unfazed, standing his ground and sneering at Bakugo. I'm just offering this pretty thing a better deal, that's all. What's it to you? Before the situation escalated further, he stepped in placing a calming hand on Bakugo's arm. Bakugo, it's not worth it. Let's just go. You pleaded, trying to diffuse attention. But Bakugo's protective instincts has kicked into overdrive. He refused to let anyone disrespect you or make you feel uncomfortable. His voice grew louder as he spoke, the anger in his voice very high. They're not some toy for you to play with, you damn bastard. Back up before I make you regret it. Buck go on, his voice resonating with a dangerous edge. The man finally realized the gravity of the situation and took a step back, a hint of fear flickering in his eyes. He muttered a few choice words under his breath before hurriedly retreating, disappearing into the crowd. Really flashed over as you watched the man disappear. You turned to Bakugo, gratitude and admiration shining in your eyes. Thank you, Katsuki. I don't know what I would have done without you. Bakugo's anger gradually dissipated, replaced by a mixture of concern and tenderness. He pulled you into his arms, holding you tightly as if to shield you from any further harm. Don't you ever think I won't protect you, idiot. He murmured against your hair, his voice filled with a rare vulnerability. You mean everything to me, and I won't let anyone hurt you. You melted into his embrace, feeling the warmth of his love enveloping you. In that moment, you realized how lucky you are to have Bakugo by your side. He was your hero, your rock, and your fierce protector. After a few moments, Bakugo released his grip on you, but he kept a watchful eye on your surroundings. Let's get out of here. I don't want you anywhere near that scumbag, he said, his voice tilting with an endurance lining. Anger. You nodded, understanding his concern. Holding hands tightly, you continued your walk, but this time with a renewed sense of caution. Bakugo's protectiveness gave you a sense of security. 
knowing that he would always be there to shield you from any harm. As you walked, the words of the stranger lingered in your mind, and you couldn't help but feel a mix of frustration and anger. You turned to Bakugo, your voice laced with determination. Katsuki, what that man said was infuriating, but I'm glad you were there to stand up for me. I want you to know that I can handle myself, but having you by my side makes me feel even stronger. You expressed, your eyes shining with determination. Bakugo's grip on your hand tightened, his gaze meeting yours with unwavering intensity. I know you're strong and I believe in you, but that doesn't mean I won't step in when someone crosses the line. I'll always be here to support you and protect you, no matter what. You smiled, a mixture of love and gratitude welling up within you. In that moment, you knew that your love for each other was unbreakable. Forged through the trials you had faced together, walking side by side, Walking side by side, you continued your journey through the city streets, your steps infused with a newfound strength. The incident had reminded you of the importance of your bond, and you were more determined than ever to face any obstacle together. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the city, you felt an overwhelming sense of contentment. In Bakuko's presence, you knew that you were cherished, and protected. Your love story continued, and with each passing day, it grew richer, deeper, and more resilient. Together, you faced the world with unwavering love and unwavering strength, ready to overcome any challenges that came your way. And as you walked into the horizon, hand in hand, you knew that with Baku by your side, the future held endless possibilities. The instance served as a reminder of the strength of your bond, and you both grew even closer. You had always admired Baku's fierce determination and unwavering loyalty, but witnessing his protective side firsthand deepened your love for him. Baku, too, cherished the fact that you trusted him enough to rely on him in times of trouble. He was glad to be there for you, to shield you from any harm and make you feel safe and loved. Your relationship was a partnership where you both provide a strength and support to one another. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!